All right, so it looks like the podcast that Ethan Klein does with Hassan Piker, you know, Leftovers, it looks like that's probably done at this point because they've been having a lot of disagreements recently, and now most of Hassan's audience absolutely despises Ethan, which is no surprise. I mean, it was only a matter of time till they turned on him. Like, starting a political podcast with Hassan Piker, I think most people could have predicted that's not going to end well. And it's funny, I remember the first episode, and Ethan's talking about how they're going to be bringing justice to Republicans like they should be worried that him and Hassan are teaming up together but in reality the only person that should have been worried about this podcast was Ethan because Hassan has to have one of the most toxic fan bases and Ethan he's far left but he is nowhere near far left enough for those people like things started to go south when Ethan and Hassan were having a debate about socialism and I guess Hassan's fans weren't happy because Ethan is too much of a capitalist and I guess he's getting a lot of comments about it so he addressed it and he said please do not take these political conversations so personally being called a class traitor a thousand times because i'm only a social democrat and not a full socialist makes me want to not have these conversations anymore which is probably the least productive outcome so the fact that ethan made a post about this is not a good sign because it shows he does not know what he got himself into like when he decided to do a podcast with Hassan, he should have realized this is what he's signing up for i think anybody could have told you this is gonna be pretty much the bare minimum you're going to get in terms of criticism from his audience and then Ethan responding to this just makes it so much worse I don't know what he was thinking because it shows it's getting to him and then it makes the audience aware that it's getting to him and they'll want to criticize him even more like someone posted this to his subreddit and I'd say 95% of the comments are criticizing him and talking about how he sounds like a baby and he's the one taking things personally And I agree, because, again, what did he expect with this podcast? I mean, this is what he's asking for, and apparently he wanted to talk about this. So he shouldn't be very surprised when all his socialist fans start calling him a class traitor. And it's crazy, because so many people warned him about this and saw something like this coming. I mean, even his own fans, a lot of them are telling him getting into politics is not the best idea, especially getting into politics by starting a show with one of the most radical left-wing Twitch streamers who has one of the most toxic fan bases. Obviously, that made things a hundred times worse. Like, getting into politics is one thing, but then going about it the way Ethan did is a recipe for disaster, especially since he is obviously not very good at handling criticism and he reads a lot of negative comments. So I don't know why he'd want to put himself through this. I guess he just didn't think about it too much. And it's crazy because he's been on the internet long enough. You'd think he'd know better. But I guess he just figured him and Hassan would disagree on some things and the audience would understand their differences and just appreciate the conversation, which, you know, I'm sure some people do. Don't get me wrong. But Ethan, again, starting this podcast, he should have understood that he is going to get a lot of criticism and he better be able to handle it. But as you saw from that Instagram post, he clearly was not prepared and things were about to get so much worse with the conflict in the Middle East starting back up up again because pretty much everybody Ethan has associated himself with is pro-Palestine and has no sympathy for Israel which again is no surprise but this was definitely a wake-up call for Ethan especially after he decided to go on Hamas's discord I mean Hassan's discord server and of course everybody on there was basically praising the attacks Hassan's discord and what I saw in that discord was universal near universal praise for Hamas, near universal saying people deserved it, people near universally calling me a Zionist pig, mass murdering, genocidal freak. And if you want to know the truth, that shit fucked me up seeing that discord because it made me realize that a lot of these people are watching this show and it frankly disturbed me. Listen, everyone in my periphery, everyone in my circle, all the leftist uh, people that I watch, that I'm part of, that watch this show, because I consider myself a part of that side, are all pretty much uncritically accepting of Hamas propaganda and uncaring about the revis- rewriting of history right before our fucking eyes about this stuff. So... I'm not seeing a lot of people, even though you might look at the popular media and say, you know, everybody's supporting Israel. The popular media's defense of Israel is cartoonishly dumb and evil. You know, burn, burn them all to the ground. They have a right to defend themselves. Bomb God, like psycho sh- Okay. Whole conflict anymore, really, at all, ever. And uh, I'm frankly also thinking about 
putting uh, something that I need to discuss with Hassan, but I do feel like I'm probably going to pause Leftovers for the time being. I don't want to talk about it anymore. That's it. And it sounds like a lot of y'all don't want me to talk about it either. And of course he did continue talking about it and things just got worse from here. But it's funny seeing him realize the audience he's attracted and he basically went out of his way to get, I mean, he did not need to start that podcast. He could have just stuck to making fun, goofy content, but he chose to work with a guy who's known for saying America deserved 9-11. So he shouldn't be that surprised when his audience is cheering on a terror attack in Israel. So this is right on par for Hassan's audience. And Ethan, he also got into it with one of Hassan's Discord moderators. I guess he unfollowed her and she got all upset about it. So Ethan addressed it and it was pretty awkward because not only is this Hassan's moderator, but she's also good friends with Ethan's employees. But he goes on to call her a scumbag. Um, that That's why I followed her. She was a mod for Hassan and me and Lena are friends with her as well. Okay. Yeah. So she seems like a nice person, but uh, but they don't care about um, 1,500 civilians being mass murdered. Yes, right. Let's not even pretend that didn't happen, you scumbags. Okay, and maybe, f and so maybe, and then we don't know. 40 babies were definitely killed. Maybe only one was beheaded. I don't know if there was more than that. So maybe it's not as bad as we think. Is that right, Frogan? Scumbag. I'm sorry scumbag what are you doing for peace exactly except coming out here and virtue signaling how fucking left you are how woke you are how much you care for peace or the palestinian people more than anyone else it's funny hearing ethan calling somebody out for trying to virtue signal how left they are because that's all he's been doing for the past few years and everybody is trying to tell him it's a bad route to go down because it's like you're either 100 percent with them or you're against them and like jordan peterson said you're going to make a mistake and they will devour you which is what's going on now like ethan's finally come full circle you know he spent the last few years trying to separate himself from jordan peterson and his old content by virtue signaling signaling and proving how woke he is but now after this he's just back at the beginning and everybody thinks he's racist again and he's getting lumped in with daily wire and ben shapiro and jordan peterson and all those people like i thought this tweet was hilarious this person said damn it's so funny that ethan klein made a whole left-leaning turnaround and apologized and acted like he's making up for prior behavior just to become a top tier islamophobic racist freak and a lot of people are saying stuff similar to this he is just getting destroyed on twitter and reddit and Hassan discord obviously which is hilarious because he's still very progressive when it comes to this issue especially for somebody that has lived in israel and his wife is from israel and i would imagine still has family over there but ethan still criticizes israel a lot and he also donated money to a palestinian relief fund the idf is a genocidal criminal institution that netanyahu should be tried for war crimes he should immediately resign I can tell you that the West Bank uh, settlements are basically an act of war. And I don't really believe even that settlers are civilians in the same way that the people who were murdered are. I can tell you that what Israel's doing in Gaza is, is, is as evil as it can be. As evil as evil can be. You donated to the to the uh, Palestinian uh, Relief Fund as well, and uh, you know we got a notice from Anera. They're talking to all the other organizations as well, but we got a notice from Anera that like uh, some of those funds have already uh, made its way into uh, you know medical supplies and food in Gaza. So that's, that's great. That is awesome. That, I, yeah. I was I've been listening to your stream for like an hour. You know I got a lot of sh from Israelis for donating because they're like oh, it's just gonna go to Hamas, but. <laughs> you know, I don't, you know, I looked into the charity you picked and it is really highly rated. So I, I'm like, there, yeah, I don't no, really I, think this. But none of that matters because like I said, you're either with them all the way or you're against them. And since they've already been calling out Ben Shapiro and all those people for being racist and Islamophobic and all that stuff for the past five years, it's just old at this point and it really has no impact. You know, Ben Shapiro is not going to care if you go on Twitter and call him a Zionist. 
But you know who does care? Ethan Klein. And that's definitely what Hassan's audience realized, you know, because they can actually get a reaction out of him in real time. You could see him reading comments and on Hassan's stream, he starts to lose it. But this is what Hassan's audience feeds off of, you know, trying to cancel somebody or make them feel like shit by calling them a racist. That's what they're here for, you know, and everybody else, like all the right wing people, none of that matters to them. They've already been called everything in the book, so it doesn't have any kind of impact. But Ethan, as a progressive, one of the worst things you could do is call them a racist, especially when it's coming from people you thought were your own fans or you thought were on your side. And towards the end of Hassan's stream, Ethan starts to read all the comments and he starts like almost crying. Divs, I... I, I, the reason why people feel the way that they do oh, is because after a certain point... What, what it, have it, I said that's bad faith? I think you want me to be totally honest? Yeah. No kitty gloves. Okay. The fuck, bro. No. That insinuation is so stupid, man. No, I, no please don't get mad at me. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be wrong. wrong. You just talk down to me the whole time? No, absolutely not. I think you're a very smart person, but you do get a little I, emotional I on this issue. I kitty gloves that's on. Tell me. Can you like? Do you care that your your chat is calling me racist? Do you make any attempt to modify? To, I like, have not looked at my mo chat. Moderate at, that. At I have all. not looked at my chat at all. But you. Have I just to opened understand. it. But don't you have moderators? Do you care at all about what I, your audience there, says about there's me? There's thirty-two thousand people in here right now. The reason why people are saying that is because of the conflations that you made, Ethan. That's why, like. I can't, I can't stop people from viewing you a certain way if you're going to make these comparisons that they've heard from actually racist people. You literally implied that Jewish Voice for Peace would be akin to a capo in this circumstance. Oh, you are so bad faith for saying that, and f*** you for even like putting that out in the world. That was you not my who point. Made this comparison. My point was that you can find anybody to defend anything. That was my point. You also made a comparison that this slogan is akin to the like the swastika changed uh, over the course of its its trajectory as a symbol for Nazi Germany and then also on top of that stated that the confederate flag means something different to the southern folk that want to uh, promote heritage not hate those people when they say that are cynically saying heritage not hate it doesn't mean slavery to me those people are in the wrong these people that are saying from the river to the sea, Palestine will be pr uh, free are not in the wrong. They're in the right. That's the major difference. They are morally righteous. That's why a better comparison would still be to make it make a comparison to Black Lives Matter in the way that some white people foresee or, or perceive Black Lives Matter. And if I'm not going to listen to what white people who are against Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter have to say about the slogan itself, then why would I listen to people who are defending Israel on what this slogan means? Because the broader majority, the broadest majority of people who consider this to be an anti-Semitic slogan are, you, in my opinion, not deploying care. it cynically. Like, you, not you. Really you. Not By you. the way, I'm not even defending the... I'm not even like... I'm just, tell, I'm just trying to tell you guys how it feels. And I'm shock that you don't care that people in your chat are saying who the fuck is this child cold Ethan, arrogant Ethan, as fuck. i love you but there's to, but there's only so much i can do how can you be surprised when your discord is literally full of Ethan, i love you but there's only so much i can do if you're making like you, that argument you know that right like at a certain point you're an adult and the words that you're saying are going to be perceived by people in a certain way i can't constantly tell my c community to shut the fuck up like right, well, which i have listen, and i, I think they a, should but in at the end of the day it's because i know you personally and i think your heart is in the right place but they don't know so it's hard it's hard for people to to view what you're saying you know, beyond I'm just telling your words. you the perspective you disagree that's it i mean what the okay. fuck do you want from me okay but do you, but do you get do you get where i'm coming from like that's why I i'm really, trying I to understand your analysis dude okay I, I understand trying, your analysis. I, want, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want my community to hurt your feelings. I don't want your feelings to be hurt Dude, either. They're not hurting my I think feelings. They're fucking. I think, they're monsters. They're like psychotic. I think, no, I think. I think you're a good. Not person. all of them, but there are a lot of them, and you okay. don't seem to care about moderating That's it at all. That's not true. Whereas There's, if you go to, if you're when you're on my show, we really do care about what people say about you on yeah. Discord and chat. Think? And we moderate it to keep like a good environment, but you don't seem to fucking care about There's it. There's no way I can you shut off my moderated. chat. I mean, I can put it in an email. And you know I'm not a fucking radical Jew. I'm not even a religious Jew. No, I have I, no I know. fucking. I have no stake in the game. And this is coming from. I I know I know. Um. 
And it's crazy because you could tell Hassan is holding back here. You know, if this were anybody else, he'd be going off on them, calling them a racist, Zionist piece of shit. And it's funny, Ethan's all surprised by the chat and Hassan's Discord because, I mean, Hassan thinks all the same stuff they do. But I think Ethan's finally slowly starting to realize that. Like, Hassan, if you weren't friends with Ethan, he'd be going so much harder on him here. You know, like, whenever he responds to somebody in the chat that he disagrees with, he flips out. You fucking stupid. Do you think the... The Israeli state was just like peacefully coexisting. And then these guys came in with fucking gliders out of nowhere. Don't say fuck off, dude. They didn't deserve it, you fucking idiot. My goal is solutions. Your goal is the continuation of violence. You want way more than 260 people dying. You want every single Palestinian to be fucking executed ruthlessly in the streets so that you can build another fucking theme park in Gaza, you fucking baying pig you fucking bloodthirsty violent pig dog suck my d actually you know what go listen to his song people say i need to go listen to song this is bullshit please go listen to his song who fucking, by the way yells at people in chat calls them zionist genocidal monsters for suggesting that the hospital wasn't bombed okay by the idf which is the same fucking thing the hassan's fans come and tell me So f that the PLO is yeah. So that's more of the reaction you'd expect from Hassan, but he somehow manages to stay very civil when he's talking to Ethan. I don't know how he does it because Ethan's usually pretty worked up. But I guess maybe he figures Ethan's getting enough shit from his audience or something. I don't know. But it's funny that Ethan's complaining about the chat and he wants Hassan to moderate it. And Hassan's basically like, there's nothing I can do. Because Hassan basically said the same thing Ethan's saying to XQC. And he's calling him a shitty friend because he wouldn't moderate his chat when they're talking shit about him. Over random dumb shit and, and bringing my name up for no fucking reason. And I thought that you were just allowing that shit to run rampant in your chat. And I thought that was fucked up, especially as uh, someone who thought we were friends. Yeah. I think that's a reasonable expectation for someone who you consider to be a friend. Yeah, so by Hassan's own definition, he's pretty much a shitty friend. But again, Ethan, what does he expect from these people? Like you chose to associate with this audience. You didn't need to. You could have just stayed making fun content. But now he's pretty much just backed into a corner. And eventually I think Hassan's audience is going to beat him into submission. He's going to have to like apologize or something. Or maybe he's just done talking about politics. I think that is probably the best move. Like I'd hope he finally learned his lesson after all this. But we'll see. And let me know what you guys think about it all down in the comment section. And then make sure you check out my Patreon account there's a ton of extra content on there that's only available on there there's probably over 40 videos at this point like if you want to hear about the time ethan klein actually gave me a shout out and talked about how he's a fan of my channel it's just too bad he doesn't listen to what i have to say about him because he probably could have avoided all this but if you want to hear about that or the downfall of miley Annapolis, or the degeneracy of ari shafir or the degeneracy of adam 22 or if you want to hear about some really cringy Joe Rogan experience episodes, like one with Amy Schumer, if you want to hear about any of that, make sure you go check it out. I'll put a link in the description, and then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.